Hi guys, welcome to Zoom Cricket, and I'm Forum Vistani from Mumbai, and I'll be interviewing Jaya Sharma today, and it's an absolute honor. She has represented India in Tests and ODI, and she has been a very crucial member of the Indian cricket team at one stage, and it's a pleasure for us for Zoom Cricket to have you on board today, ma'am. Thank you. Pleasure is all mine, and thank you for having me. So, Jaya ji, tell us. Uh, how did your journey begin as a cricketer? And when you started back in the day pursuing cricket, when cricket, women cricket was very unheard of, and there wasn't much support, you know. So just take us through uh, through your journey. Well, uh, frankly speaking, I did not start with cricket. I started with football, uh, playing at the age of ten, uh, and. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah so that that was uh, for me the starting of my sporting career and i have i've been playing many sports uh, since then and uh, it was all passion for sports and i never knew that uh, this passion will take me to uh, to take me to this height and i'll be able to represent my country and i think that's the most uh, honorable um, achievement one can have and uh, yes it was very tough uh, especially back in uh, the 90s uh, when uh, the scope for a young uh, you know a player or a student uh, for for that matter was like you have to go in studies you have to go in sports so it was yeah. there were not much career options as such and uh, but uh, it it all began with the help of my mother who took me to sports and uh, she is the main uh, uh, pillar of strength uh, since then because uh, she took me to practices and uh, we used to travel in uh, you know huge uh, buses like i had to take my kid bags huge kid bags and we used to travel in uh, dtc DT buses in delhi oh and God. she used to sit with me uh, throughout my practice for hours and then she used to take me back home so that was my uh, that was something um, i uh, we as a family uh, gone through but i think uh, it has paid all its dividend and um, i'm i'm uh, honored and i am really glad that i chose this sport and it has given me all the you know everything in this world that's amazing and it's amazing to even know that at such a young age in those times you know like how your mother supported you and i mean it's recommendable truly so also i would like to ask that you were the first female uh, recipient you know of the bcci player of the year i mean i think it was 2007 you know so how special was it for you in terms of performances and can you recollect some special matches or like individual performances from that particular year yes definitely it's very close to my heart because i was uh, trying to make a comeback into the indian team after the world cup and uh, a series uh, against uh, you know asia cup in pakistan where i created a national record for the indian team of 138 not out that stood for wow. almost over 15 years so uh, it was very hard for me uh, because i made that come back into the indian team and it was i it's, it it was unimaginable uh, period for me because i scored almost 13 to 1400 runs in that season and wow. after i made in domestic cricket and after i made that come back into the indian team i was the in i was the second highest run getter in the whole tournament and that was a mini world cup that was a quadrangular wow. series involving um, australia england new zealand so uh, and uh, the most memorable uh, outing i can remember is uh, 104 not out against australia and we were chasing a total of 204 and uh, we ended ended up uh, winning the match so wow. that was something Pretty amazing that happened. So not only your mother, but the whole nation was super proud of you. You know that's great. With over two thousand runs in ODIs, you know you were certainly a very crucial team member. What have been some of your most memorable performances? Like, you know, you you just it gives you goosebumps probably even thinking of them today. Yes. Uh, to so, start with, it was I made my debut in two thousand two, and uh, in two thousand and three. uh new zealand were uh, playing in india a uh, home series against us and new zealand were defending champions world champions and i was the woman of the series and we beat new zealand 4-1 uh 
in that wow. series that was uh, one and definitely asia cup i was again uh, women of the series and uh, scored a uh, 138 not out that was uh, really special uh, to me and then when we uh, reached in the final of the 2005 world cup as a team so that is something uh, which is uh, very close to my heart wow that's amazing like even today while listening to that it really makes us very proud to you know to have uh, have had players like you in our team thank you okay how was second innings of your life after retirement panning out for you you know like how are you what do you do and you know how are you keeping up with the second innings well uh, so far uh, it's it's panning out uh, good for me because um, i've done my uh, pg in uh, sports management from iim and uh, i'm i'm aiming to be a sports administrator one day so that i can contribute on a much bigger level and ultimately uh, make some difference actual actual difference uh, to the uh, sporting ecosystem especially in women's cricket and then um, i have uh, done my research and i am a mind conditioning coach and uh, i am very keen uh, uh, into this subject i have a very keen interest uh, in how uh, players manage their mental states and what f- factors affect their mental performances and uh, i'm i'm hoping to do something in that area as well and currently i'm involved with ddc as a chief selector for last 3 4 years wow. so i'm i'm looking forward to nurture some more uh, talent to in the years to come absolutely absolutely so it's not the it's not just the physical you're also focusing on the mental and the moral development uh, in the sports True. field that's True. very nice okay and uh, the last thing i'd like to know is that what is uh, if you have to give one piece of advice or a suggestion to the current uh, team or you know to the current player aspiring players what would it be uh, to the, to the players uh, it would be uh, that uh, on the international level uh, basically you have to have a uh, overall development uh, because on the international level it's all about uh, uh, about your psyche that's uh, very evident from the india england series and uh, the way it has uh, shaped for our girls and uh, other thing that i would like to add here from a sports uh, management professional perspective is a robust ecosystem in india that so that we can have a, a widened talent pool as a feeder system for the future generations to come and be in be, be into the system for the national team so that uh, more corporates can be involved and can have uh, their teams so that we can have a larger number of matches more number of matches at club level or you know psus as we have the setup in the men's uh, format okay so uh, okay so we have a rep- Quick fire round. I'm sure it'll be quick, but we have like we're very keen to know more about it. So I'd like to shoot some questions at you, and you know we want to know more about it. So the first question I'd like to ask you is one bowler which you were always excited to play against. Uh, the quickest of all uh, of all, uh, Catherine Fitz- Fitzpatrick, Australia. Wow. Okay. Okay, so uh, the most mischievous cricketer in the dressing room for from your batch, without any doubt, Miss Amita Sharma. Okay, <laughs> okay. So the most difficult wicket you have batted in, uh, New Zealand, uh, Auckland, in New Zealand. Okay. Uh, your favorite, most favorite wicket to bat in, uh, Chapok, Chennai. Wow. Okay. Uh, the weight of your bat. So we we were very you know keen on knowing what was the weight of your bat and why that. Uh, so the uh, weight of my bat was uh, ranging somewhere uh, in between eleven thirty grams to eleven fifty grams, <clears throat> depending upon uh, if we are playing in subcontinent or overseas. But it was a hero size bat. It was not a full size bat because um, I'm, uh, I'm my height is not that much. So I used a different size of bat. Okay. Okay. Um, your most memorable moment on the cricket field and why? Uh, one hundred and four against Australia in my comeback series. 
because uh, Catherine Fitzpatrick uh, sledged me and uh, we ultimately won that match and I was uh, I scored a hundred. Crazy. Wow. That's amazing to know. Um, your current favorite lot of women cricketers? The existing one, especially involving uh, Shafali, for sure. Shafali Varma, Jemima, Radha Yadav, of course. Wow. Yeah, they're actually very good. Uh, um, few women cricketers from Indian domestic circle uh, you think has the potential to make it big? I think uh, Indrani Roy, uh, Simran Dil Bahadur, and uh, some of more uh, Delhi cricketers that, that I've seen. We have a good, good talent pool. That's amazing. Wow. So, uh, uh, Jayaji, it was, it was amazing to know about it. And, you know, seeing you there and, you know, seeing you do, do so much for the nation, it feels very proud. And, you know, you're, you're such a big inspiration even today for so many young girls. And it's an honor to have you today. Thank you. Thank and, you. It's uh, my pleasure. I'm really honored. Thank you so much, Jayaji. So